So now on to today's topic, end-to-end -end SRS verification. What does it take to have a safe and effective fair tax QA program? After all, delivering just a few fractions at high dose rates can be daunting. Precision and accuracy in QA are of the utmost concern as you care for your patients. So choosing products that provide the highest precision and accuracy for QA should be chosen carefully. The gold standard for stereotactic QA has been and remains the Lucy 3D QA Phantom, which is certainly a very part of your Q, uh, important part of your QA solution, but it isn't the only thing you need um, for a QA program. So I will be talking, uh, this talk will encompass sort of a range of products that we tailor to ensure that you have the stereotactic QA solution you want and need. Stereotactic QA goals include positional accuracy, dose accuracy, and validation of imaging, planning, and treatment systems. So let's start with some of the troubles with small fields, as you can see listed on the screen here. Size, source occlusion, energy changes, penumbra, and so on and so forth. So small field challenges include physical size issues. We're talking about four to 40 millimeter field sizes here. So how is your field defined? That's the first question to ask. Is it jaws or full with half max? What, is the, what about decreased output and alignment? A small misalignment equals a large geometric and dosimetric miss. Scatter from primary collimator and flattening filter is reduced at small fields but small enough fields also reduce direct beam fluence. Equilibrium conditions equals, uh, is lateral scattering distance equal to or greater than the range of electrons. What are practical implica oh, excuse me, implications of this? You may start to lose lateral equilibrium when beam width is less than two times Dmax. Higher energies lose beam plateau sooner, detector positioning, perturbations, etc., come into play sooner for higher energies. It's important to characterize profiles, not just output factors. Vector size and shape. Volume averaging effects are of concern. So one needs to ask what is the field profile versus the detector's spot size. Also, how accurately can you determine beam penumbra? Consistent and accurate position of the detector can impact your measurement. It is an important consideration when choosing a stereotactic phantom and where the Lucy 3D QA phantom features provide a solid benefit to users. Perturbation of the beam, fluence is perturbed at the point of measurement so ask yourself these questions. How large is the air cavity of my ion chamber? For diodes, is there built-in compensation? And how does the response vary with energy? There are publications, published corrections sometimes available. Use those, you must match the published conditions. Signal, keep in mind that for, an ion, for ion chambers, the signal is proportional to collecting volume. Signal to noise ratio becomes more of a concern as signal decreases, and small signals require an appropriately sensitive electrometer. Signal to noise ratio can be impacted by leakage and proper electrometer warm up or triaxial cable effects, both chamber and extension cables. It is important to match signal strength to the proper electrometer range. Accuracy you need to know. Or need to answer these questions about detectors you want to use for small field measurements. Does it have energy dependence issues? Does it have angular dependence issues? And what are the implications in different orientations? Are there dose rate or dose pulse dependencies? What else is of concern? Leakage, drift, repeatability, resolution. Can it be calibrated? There's a lot to be concerned about. X ray and diodes, so what are our SI solutions to help you out with this, right? See, X ray and diodes are available. You see here in the top right, 
Um, orientations available are the D1H, which is horizontal for use in phantom, and you know, like a uh, stack of virtual water or blue water, for example. Or we have the D1V, which is vertical for scanning um, purposes. It is the same diode, just a different housing. Our diodes are unshielded, have a one millimeter diameter spot size. Correction factors are available. Um, there's two publications from 2014 that looked at both measured and calculated factors uh, for the uh, X-ray and W1 or W2 scintillators. W, so on to our scintillators. So up here in the upper um, left, you see there are W1 with the supermax or just showing our W2 scintillator here. W1 was the first uh, version of our scintillator available on the market. It has a one by three millimeter uh, scintillating fiber at the tip, and is used with our dual channel electrometer, the Supermax, which has the built-in calibration function that automatically removes the Cherenkov light effect from the dose and dose, dose rate reading. The W2 scintillator down here with the um, Max ST offer several improvements. We've in de we have decreased the electronic noise, which means we now offer a one by one millimeter fiber. So it doesn't matter the orientation in which it is used. It's used with the Max SD, which houses the optics and signal processing electronics and allows it to be used for scanning purposes and point dose measurement. The strength of both the W1 and the W2 scintillators are that they have a KQ of one. Yes, that's right, one. Water equivalent for MV photons and electrons. There's no dose rate or energy dependence and negligible temperature dependence. And last but not least, we have our x ray and A26 micropoint chamber, uh, which is a reference class micropoint chamber. It's very familiar technology for physicists. It is made entirely of Lozenian materials with a spot size of 4.3 millimeter, which is independent of orientation. It has a predictable response curve, unlike other commonly used micropoint chambers on the market. Of course, you'll need an electrometer for your SRS QA. You have uh, excellent options here with standard imaging. Both our Max 4000 Plus electrometer, which is our single channel option, is a real workhorse that many, 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 many clinics around the world use. Um, it really is a go to standard for physicists worldwide. And then, of course, we have our dual channel Supermax electrometer, which has excellent, excellent features like screen navigation and just a one minute warm up time. It's honestly a lot of electrometer for the price. And we don't wanna forget that it also, both of these electrometers have an industry leading five year warranty. Now that I've laid the foundation for measurement tools used in small fields, what type of stereotactic program are you starting? Stereotactic programs don't usually start with treating complex multiple metastases in the brain, but generally with larger tumors and other organs, typically lung. So here we have the SI solution to get you started with that it includes our um, stereotactic dose verification phantom shown here with the lung material slabs. Then we also have new to the SI family, the DP1000 from IMT, which is being brought under my pur purview as well. So I'm still learning about that one. We'll be coming to you in future webinars with more details. So of course, we have our respiratory gating platform. So when you're doing your SGR TQA, um, it's a simplified platform that independently controls the range of motion of the respiratory cycle. And then of course you wanna have a Winston Lutz pointer. Um, here I show our most advanced with 3D micrometers. And then again, just to reiterate that the Supermax electrometer uh, with its built-in chamber library and a lot of functionality um, is a great electrometer for your SBRT program. Now, um, from your current SBRT program, maybe you're adding stereotactics. 
um, for SRS. Uh, when it comes to SRS, the Lucy 3D QA Phantom, as I mentioned before, is the gold standard for end-to-end -end testing of the entire stereotactic treatment chain. The precision manufacturing of this phantom allows users to verify cumulative uncertainties of the, along the treatment chain within 0.1 millimeter accuracy. This is accomplished by using a variety of inserts with precisely known volumes, geometries, and distances for accurate measurement. We work with each customer to tailor the best Lucy package to your department's particular needs. Lucy is uniquely designed to lock the phantom and inserts in place to facilitate reproducible setup and measurement to very tight tolerance. The Lucy Phantom is put through the same processes as an actual patient, which means that the Phantom will be scanned on CT and uh, MRI likely to start the treatment chain. It is therefore very important to perform a variety of QA tests on these imaging systems, as well, especially, especially since oftentimes uh, the physicist in charge of performing stereotactic QA isn't the one performing the QA on these imaging systems, getting to be able to do at least annually a check for your stereotactic treatment chain is advisable. So for CT images, you can see that we have our CT marker cylinders. We have a couple of different irregular volume inserts. We also do a spot check on CT densities with air, blue is blue is water, adipose, fat, trabecular, and cortical bone. CT scan tests may include various scan thicknesses to find the optimal thickness for SRS imaging, spacing, distortion, and phantom orientation. MR inserts, uh, um, as you can see here, match many of our CT. Uh, inserts as well. The MR cylinders are filled with mineral oil, and you can see the matching irregular volume inserts here. We also have an MR signal generator um, to do signal in your MR imaging. The isotentric irregular volume insert can obviously be used on both CT and MR. The marker cylinders for CT and MR have known distances of five millimeters center BB to center BB, and they're placed in the phantom at a precise 60 millimeter center cylinder, center cylinder. And again, we have well-documented information on the volumes of these uh, irregular volume inserts. And here on the left is a distortion grid that is used in the phantom. CT and MR inserts are used to perform uh, fusion and verify accuracy of multimodality fusion, CD to CT, CT to MR. Verify object reconstruction, compare scanned object volume against known volumes, verify position of objects, the centroids and the fiducials, and distance measurements. It is worth noting that we use irregular volumes instead of just uh, circles or spheres, as it is the quickest way to see any issues in, in image fusion. After all, an arc on a circle is just an arc on a circle and will not show up any rotational issues. You can also easily use the irregular volume inserts for some basic auto contouring or deformable registration tests. You can rotate the Lucy sphere, which creates a new shape of a known volume to test against. For treatment plan system QA, you can test the following, organ volumes, manual versus auto segmentation, contour volume versus the standard volume or DVH um, to isodose volume, dose models, Monte Carlo, conventional, and so on, and the TPS limitations for small fields, and accessories such as and couch modeling. On the left here is a plan to deliver four conformal arcs to an isocentric target. And the right is a plan on the largest um, irregular volume of the irregular volume insert. Verification of the treatment is done using film and a micropoint chamber or other small field detector like our scintillator. 
Note that detector insert here is one centimeter thick. Therefore, detectors that you choose to use have to have an outer diameter of less than one cm. So again, our Creighton A26 and W2 scintillators are ideal solutions for point measurements. One of the unique aspects of our Phantom is that we lock the detector in place so that you never have to worry about an air gap or chamber displacement, even if you are rotating the Phantom, for example. The centroid of the collecting volume will be locked at the geometric center of the Lucy Phantom, no matter the orientation or rotation. Remember back to the beginning as of presentation when I noted that one of the issues in small field measurements is detector placement. And this is where you have good success, reproducibility, repeatability using the Lucy 3D QA Phantom. And now we're on to my favorite uh, piece here, little kit of inserts. This is in the center here. We have what, we, well, as a kit, we call this the Lucy 3D volumetric target dosimetry kit, which includes the multi-mets insert here on the left. Um, and we have the film uh, stack on the right. So you put in spacers to align to the center of these multiple targets uh, as outlined in the user manual in order to do the QA on those. And in the center here, we have our target and avoidance structure insert where the black is high contrast uh, bone material against water equivalent material. These are uh, tough ones for the treatment planning system to recreate, so they are fantastic for testing contouring and volume accuracy, image transfer accuracy, and the limitations of your dose algorithms. You can therefore go through the entire workflow with these inserts as a great end-to-end -end test. And here we have an uh, image of a C-shaped target planned for delivery, which is then verified with film and micropoint detector. The multi-mets insert has four targets in a nonlinear, non-coplanar arrangement. These targets plus the hidden target that's provided with the phantom gives you five targets for planning and, uh, and treatment verification. In this case, we're showing uh, a plan where there are uh, for two targets using the multi-mets insert. The planned versus measured QA results who were, were found to have a pass rate at 2% 2 millimeters and over 99% dose agreement. Other end-to-end -end tests with the Lucy include a hidden target test using the insert with the central fiducial. But we provide one that is brass in order to remain MR safe for the entire phantom. You can also um, select an optional tungsten target uh, for better viewing should you desire. So you can do the plan, scan, treat, and verify your process QA checking position, dose, dose distribution. Mechanical accuracy is tested with the Winston Lutz pointer, or again, you do a hidden, one, hidden Winston Lutz test with the um, central cassette. And our uh, Pro software, uh, you can automate your Winston Lutz test and get your 3D offset. Summarize whether you use Lucy on its standard precision leveling base locked to the couch lock bar, or you lock the Phantom or the pointer into the isocentric coordinate system with an interface. Or you wish to ensure that the centroid of your detector's collecting volume is at isocenter, you can be confident that you're performing your SRS and NQA with the best precision and accuracy using Lucy. I have focused, of course, the greatest uh, part of this presentation on hardware side of things, a, stand a standard imaging, imaging solution but that probably leaves you wondering about patient QA outside of using ion chamber and film. Again, few fractions delivered at highest dose rates require most rigorous QA. So just let me mention quickly um, our patient QA solutions that provide the most pertinent information automatically for your team to make treatment decisions. Firstly, we have Adaptivo, which includes pre-treatment in vivo and adaptive modules. Um, so you're getting insight into your patient at every fraction. 
The software um, not only automates pretreatment and exit dose delivery verification, but also uses the daily CBCT to provide automatic daily and cumulative 3D dose comparisons um, compared to intended dose. LINAC view is standard imaging's log file based patient plan QA solution. An overview of the workflow is shown here. An approved plan is exported to both the LINAC, uh, including Electa's MR LINAC Unity, um, and to LINAC view. They exported to both. Once LINAC view has received the RT plan, the log files that are generated from each delivery of this plan will automatically be brought into LINAC view associated with the original RT plan and analyzed. Not only does LINAC view provide past alert failure results before the patient leaves the table, it also provides a wealth of information to investigate, understand, and address any issues with the patient treatment. Now, uh, next week, I just wanna pop this in here. Um, my next week, uh, our new sales physicist, Vicki Howard, will be uh, presenting a webinar on our new I Am Sure 3D software, which is an automated second check software with Monte Carlo accuracy for independent patient specific QA. So that covers the patient side of things. I do want to also mention um, that the IMT phantoms uh, are being brought into the SI family. They are part of our SI family um, and will, as part of the integration into our family, they will join the Lucy family and be renamed the Lucy EA and Lucy HC. Note that the Lucy HC, um, known as Max HC uh, version 2, until it's fully integrated, is the only phantom where the entire phantom is MR visible. So an excellent selection should you be using an MR imaging LINAC. So that brings me to the end of what I wanted to present to you today. Uh, thank you again for your patience and waiting for me to sort out my technical difficulties. Um, if you have any questions, if you haven't already, type them into the chat. I will be checking momentarily. Um, please do so now. And while you're doing that, I just want to remind you that you can uh, check out our website. Again, sign up for Vicki's webinar next week on I Am Sure 3D or revisit any of our um, previously recorded webinars. Uh, if you're not part of our customer portal, please make sure that you join it. There is additional uh, materials and uh, information available on all of our product solutions uh, there for you to review. We can't think of any questions now, but we get off of here and you have some. Contact us. We're here to help you out. Sales at standardimaging.com or me at azens at standardimaging.com. Let me take a peeky peek, uh, see if there are any questions. Uh, oops. I don't think I'm seeing any questions, actually. Um, and thank you, Tracy, for the compliment. Um, otherwise, I think that really does bring me to the end, not seeing any questions. And I, on the very last note here, I would just like to remember remind everyone your patients are our purpose, and we will be seeing you, and I will be there at 8, 8 p.m. this year, so please do stop by. I would love to see you all in person and get a chance to talk to you about our complex and complete, complete stereotype QA solutions. Thank you ever so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day wherever